So there's a lot of great reasons to pick up the Maride on EX League Battle Deck. First of all, it is one of the best decks in the game right now. So the fact that it is accessible for about a $30 price point is amazing. And even if you don't end up using this deck down the road, the cards in this deck are usable in a lot of different decks as well. So if you change your mind on Maridon, you have great cards in this deck like Forest Seal Stone, which is about a $20 card when this deck was released, along with other cards, which are staples for every Pokemon deck. Just for some context, I am one of the most uh, hardcore Maridon players you could say out there. I've been playing my version of Maridon or just Maridon in general for pretty much the last seven months exclusively. I've deviated from Maridon once to get some championship points. I played Gengar VMAX to a tournament, but I am currently about rank 40 in Canada and almost halfway to my world championship invitation. It was pretty much all done with Maridon and my Maridon deck is in this deck box. That's why I'm showing it to you guys like that. But later this week, I'll also be giving you guys some my full in-depth personal deck profile of the actual Maridon deck that I really like to use a ton. Let's take a look now at the Maridon League Battle Deck. Here is a little thing that says it is a level three uh, deck. So it says it's for experienced trainers, but I'm gonna be honest with you. Maridon is known as a very simple deck. So if you are a person who wants to learn how to play the game, Maridon EX is definitely one of those decks I can recommend, even if it is labeled level three. But I think they're just labeling it level three because of the actual power level of this deck. Now there's also a bunch of other things they include in the box. So we're gonna get to that in just a second. And I'll just quickly flip this box around and show you guys what this looks like on here it gives you the deck list which we're going to get into in just a second has the main cards of this deck and a little sample of the other stuff there now before we crack open this box i actually want to have more maridon players out there so we're giving this away and not necessarily this sealed box i'm going to be opening it up for this video but we'll be giving away the 60 card deck that is inside of this a uh, box to one lucky person. So to answer here on YouTube, all you have to do is hit that like button down below, subscribe to the channel, and comment telling me what you're going to do with this deck. Is it going to be your first ever Pokemon card deck? Uh, is it gonna be broken up and going into binders? Are you gonna use the cards for other decks? Or are you gonna start playing Maridon yourself? First up, we have a Poison and Burn marker right here. Not something that comes up too often, but with the newest cards in Paradox Rift, Poison and Burn do come up a little bit with those Evil Cloth and Hisuian Electrode V decks. Next up, here's how everything is packaged. So I'm just gonna open this up. You also have this code card that is included, which will give you the 60 card deck in the online game. So if you wanna practice, this is what you'll be able to get it with. We're also gonna give this code to the winner of the giveaway so they can play with it online if they wanted to. We have a guide right here, which all these decks, if you buy them, they always include a little guide. So it says, I'll just read a little, the first little sentences right here. Welcome to League Battle Decks. These decks feature great combos and strategic options, giving you important choices in every game that can turn the match one way or another. The strength to this League Battle deck comes from its extreme speed and consistency. And then there's a small upgrade guide here as well. They recommend you add one more Maridon EX from the Scarlet and Violet base set. They also recommend you add one Regilecki V and one Regilecki V Max from Silver Tempest, and also two copies of Iono from Paldea Evolve. The great thing about Maridon is it is just a consistent machine. While many decks out there can falter because they're not able to set up themselves and they basically lose because they weren't able to play the game, Maridon is just one of the best decks because of its consistency, its reliability, and because on that opening coin toss, which can definitely factor in uh, immensely to you winning or losing in a game, the Maridon decks don't really care if you go first or second. If you go first, that's awesome because you're gonna be able to set up your board and do the things you want to going first, like use Maridon's tandem unit ability and then set up Mareeps and other things like Regilecki Vs. But if you go second, then you'll be able to attack on your first turn with very strong Pokemon in the deck like Raikou, Maridon, or any other things that you might have included. Also included are two boxes right here. We have one featuring Maridon and then the 60 card deck is inside this box. So let's open up this, uh, this Maridon box first. I have no idea what is inside. Looks like we have a bunch of dice. Ooh, very nice. So we have some unique dice for the box. So here's a close look at the six dice that come with it. These are damage counter dice. And then here is a look at the one other die they include. This is the one you'll typically roll at the start of the game to decide who goes first or second. 
kind of sloppy on the paint job there, but this is exclusive to this particular product. So I'll be using this and I'll be putting it into my little mini tins that I bring to tournaments. And last but not least, we have the 60 card deck, or in this case, they actually have some of the other cards out ahead of time because you of course have to display the cards, but we'll take this deck out and I believe it's not going to be organized because Pokemon wants their customers to suffer. So, uh, whoa, I lied. They took notes. They actually they actually organized the deck for once. So, very exciting time to be alive. So let's start off with the Pokemon cards here. I'll just give you guys a very quick overview of a bunch of these cards. This version of Maridon is kind of known as a turbo version of Maridon or Maridon Regilecki. Typically, your average Maridon deck is gonna have two cards, Mareep and Flaffy. Now, those cards are great because Flaffy allows you to accelerate one energy from your discard pile per turn to one of your Pokemon on the bench. Now, this deck doesn't include Flaffy, so if you wanted to make this deck much more competitive, just get two copies of Mareep, two copies of Flaffy, throw them in this deck, and you're gonna have a lot more fun. Trust me on that. Now, instead of the Flaffy engine, they have the Babero engine in this deck, which is more of a draw engine, which is something that most Maridon players will never have a Babero or Bidoof in their deck. But first off, let's talk about Maridon EX. You got 220 HP, it's EX typing, and the best thing about this card is the ability that it has here, Tandem Unit. It says, once during your turn, you may search your deck for up to two basic electric Pokemon and put them onto your bench. You can use this ability once per turn per Maridon. And in this deck, you get two copies of Maridon. Now, typically your average Maridon deck will have three. That's why they recommend you get one more. Not only does it have a great ability in Tandem Unit, but it also has the attack Photon Blaster, which is an amazing one at KO kind of attack for two electric energy and for one colorless, it does 220 damage and says during your next turn, this Pokemon can't attack. Now that's not a big deal. You can actually get rid of that effect by having it switch out and then switch back in if you're able to do that kind of thing. Or you just switch to a different Maridon and attack with that one instead or a different Pokemon in general. The great thing about Maridon is, well, if you start it, you're basically gonna be guaranteed your other Pokemon onto the field and you can also chain the Maridons. So if you need to, if, if given the circumstance, you can use Maridon, use Tandem Unit, grab an extra Maridon and then grab two more. Uh, the reasons you might want to fill up your bench like that is if you have an attacker in this deck called Raikou V from I believe Brilliant Stars or if you like the nice art which I like to use from Crown Zenith. Now that Pokemon is a very cheap attacker. It only costs one electric and one colorless and it does an additional 20 damage for each Pokemon on your bench and your opponents. So if you want to fill out your bench for that attack it's very useful but they didn't include any Raikou Vs for this deck. So there's your Maridon EX 220 HP very strong. Next up, we have the VMAX and V Pokemon. We got Regilecki VMAX. Now, because Maridon is a basic Pokemon, it pairs very well with Regilecki VMAX, which has the ability Transistor. It says, your basic Electro Pokemon attacks do 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. Very handy. Now, it also has the attack cost of one Electric Energy and two Colorless, and the attack is Max Thunder and Lightning, does 220 damage. So it's basically the same attack as Maridon EX. So you have that, but not only that, you have Free Retreat, which is very, very good. Uh, free Retreat is very important in the Pokemon card game. And because of that, if you use Maridon EX, you attacked with it, and now you can no longer attack with it the next turn. All you have to do now to reset that, say you can't attack with your Regilecki VMAX because you don't have it charged up. All you have to do is use a switching card like Switch or Switch Card or Escape Rope to now switch Maridon EX into your Regilecki VMAX and then you switch your Regilecki VMAX for free by retreating back into your Maridon EX. Two copies of Regilecki VMAX right here. And then you also have two copies of Regilecki V, which has a pretty strong attack as well. You have Switching Bolt, which is one electric for 30 damage. Switch this Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon. And then the other tag, which is pretty strong and unique, Lightning Wall for one electric and two colorless. It does 100 damage. It says during your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 100 less damage from attack. So kind of a defensive attack in itself. And of course, Regilecki V is a basic Pokemon. So if you did have a V Max on the field, your Regilecki V is now hitting for even more damage too. So those are like the big cards in this deck in terms of uh, important Pokemon. And that's where a lot of the value is for the dollar amount, you could say, for these cards. But there's also some other expensive cards in this deck and important cards too. So let's get to those right after the energies. There is 15 energies in total in the Regilecki Maridon deck. Now your average Maridon deck is gonna play 14. And the reason why there's so many energies in this deck is because you have a card in this deck 
called Electric Generator. Electric Generator says you look at the top five cards of your deck and if any of those are basic electric energies, you can put them onto your electric Pokemon on your bench. So that's why 15 might seem like a lot, but you really do want those energies to uh, be attached to your Pokemon. Now, one of my friends, Anil, actually played the Maridon deck to the Latin American International Championships, and I believe he got like 11th place. And his deck is an extra turbo. It has 18 energy. They're really gonna make sure they hit on those electric generators. Now, one of the best cards in Maridon is this card here, Arvin. Hi. Arvin says, search your deck for an item card and Pokemon tool, reveal them and put them into your hand. So the item card you're going to be getting is typically going to be a electric generator, but it can be other cards too, like Switch. The two main tool options people are going to grab in this deck are going to be Bravery Charm and Forest Seal Stone. Bravery Charm is amazing because it adds 50 more HP to your basic Pokemon and Forest Seal Stone is amazing too because you put it onto your V Pokemon like Regilecki V or V Max, and then you can use your V Star ability that now has our Alchemy, which says grab any card in your deck and add it to your hand and that is a very strong ability so if you are going second that is the first turn you're able to play a supporter card and arvin is a very strong supporter in the early game because you can unlock a turn one attack just by using arvin grabbing an electric generator maybe a forest seal stone and you of course can attach for turn as well four copies of arvin in this deck so this is a very strong card next up we have electric generator also at four copies for this as well you always run four there's no reason you run less than four for the most part uh, because just being able to threaten your opponent with extra energies on board is amazing it can really set the pace for the game and can lock it in now if you do miss out on the energies on electric generator it's not the end of the world but it might be a little harder to uh, get those W's but it honestly the deck doesn't need the generators hit all the time. There are games though where it is critical, so the four generators are a must. Next up we have Boss's Orders, one of the best supporter cards in the game. A lot of decks play heavy counts of them, and we have four copies of Boss's Orders featuring the latest villain from Scarlet and Violet. And these are also non-holo exclusive versions of Boss's Orders, so pretty handy to have. These, this is a card that's gonna go into all of your Pokemon decks for the most part. So four copies of Boss's Orders. Next up, we got four copies of Professor's Research, another staple card in Maridon. Most lists will play between three to four copies. Um, some will do less these days, but it just depends on the player. It says, discard your hand and draw seven cards. So you have higher chances to draw into more electric generators, higher chances to draw into more energies of your deck. The main point of this deck is you really wanna just go through your deck as quick as you can and by doing so your deck is gonna your, your pokemon will be more charged up and threatening on the board next up we have four copies of ultra ball a very important card in pretty much every single pokemon card deck out there it's great to consistently get the pokemon you need when the time comes and uh, ultra ball also synergizes quite well with cards in this deck like the barrel because you have to discard two cards in your hand to use ultra ball so you can discard two cards that were useless and now the barrel's effect is you draw cards until you have five in your hand so you're able to min max and get extra draw power out of using ultra ball and then if you also use ultra ball you can discard cards like energies in your hand and if you were to be running flaffy in your deck those energies in your discard you want those there so now you can use dynamotor from flaffy to attach those energies with the ability. Three Nest Ball. Now a lot of decks will also play four Nest Ball too. Typically Maridon, like at the highest levels, will only run one to two copies of Nest Ball. And that's because with Maridon's tandem unit ability, you really don't need to have Nest Ball. Three copies of Nest Ball. Now it's important to have three copies of Nest Ball in this particular starter deck because they have Bidoof and Babarel, and those are not electric Pokemon. So Aww. that's your easiest way to get those Pokemon out onto the board. And of course the power of Nest Ball is insane in this deck because you can just use one Nest Ball, search out Maridon, and now Maridon can search out two more Pokemon. So the consistency of this deck is very easy to be seen with all this ball searching ability. Onto the stadium of choice for this starter deck, we have two copies of Beach Court, and Beach Court makes it so your basic Pokemon in play have no retreat cost. Amazing 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 card just in case you can't retreat or you need to switch out twice in one turn you got two copies of switch a classic card which has been in the card game for 25 years or more uh, and then you also got vitality band in here too which says your attacks do 10 more damage and in this case you want to be searching out vitality band with your arvin because they didn't include bravery charm for whatever reason so Bruh. bravery charm is definitely a card i would recommend you could replace vitality band easily because most decks will never play vitality band pokemon up next we have two copies of regilecki 
Now this Regilecki is not going to be seen on a higher, like a higher, more competitive Maridon deck, but for the starter deck, it's fine. You got 130 HP and you got two attacks. Electromagnetic Sonar says put a trainer card from your discard pile into your hand, so it can be any trainer card at all. And then it has the attack Targeted Bolt, where you discard two electric energies from this Pokemon and it does 120 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So say your opponent's Pokemon ran away and you're not able to boss this orders it to bring it up into the active and attack. Well, Regilecki says, nope, I'm going to snipe the Pokemon of my choosing. And uh, yeah, that's why there's this in the deck. Now, I would take it out, put in some other Pokemon instead. Next up, we have Zara Aura. Zara Aura is amazing as well. Uh, I've been personally using Zara Aura for like the last six, seven months as my one, uh, one of my main free retreaters in the deck. Zara Aura has 110 HP and two attacks. We got Battle Claw and Mac Bolt. Battle Claw does 30 damage for one electric, but if that Pokemon you're attacking is an evolution Pokemon, uh, such as Baby Gardevoir or uh, Shining Arcana Gardevoir, then you're able to do 60 damage, which is often enough to knock it out because your opponent will usually use Gardevoir EX to charge up that Gardevoir to do a big attack onto your Pokemon. And then their Shining Arcana Gardevoir and their active has about 60 HP or less. And now you're able to just bring in Zara Aura, attach one energy and knock that Pokemon out. Other free retreaters in this deck that are often utilized are Flying Pikachu V Hello. and Flying Pikachu V Max. Hi. We got two copies of Bidoof, very cute Pokemon and it has Carefree Continence, a very strong ability, which says it can't be damaged from opponent's uh, attacks. So those Radiant Greninjas out there that are trying to snipe your bench, Bidoof is safe. You're always going to evolve with it into the Barrel. The Barrel is one of the best supporter Pokemon in the game. A lot of decks will run a 2-2 line and you have the ability Industrious and Scissors, which says once during your turn, you may draw cards until you have five in your hand. Very strong ability, synergizes with the deck really well with cards like Ultra Ball. If your opponents have Path to the Peak in play, it shuts off the abilities of your rule box Pokemon, but the barrel is not a rule box Pokemon, so you can continue using the ability. Two more cards left in the deck. We have Forest Seal Stone, a non holo copy. Typically, Forest Seal Stone is a hollow in the set Silver Tempest, and it would fetch about $20 to $22. So the fact that this deck is about $30 Canadian, and you get Forest Seal Stone, which is a $20 card, and funny enough, people actually prefer the non hollow version of Forest Seal Stone because it doesn't warp as much. People can get disqualified if their cards are too warped, where that's like, it's curved. Uh, and that happens over time, and it happens more commonly with hollow kind of cards. So this being a non hollow means, you know, you don't have to worry about it warping. But yeah, Forest Seal Stone, I explained earlier, just attach it to any V Pokemon, and then you can use it to grab any card in your deck that you want. And reminder, you don't have to show your opponent it, so you just grab it, put it in your hand. Do keep in mind that you can use this ability even if the stadium path to the peak is out. So say you need to get rid of your opponent's path to the peak, well, you can always force your stone for the cards like Beach Court in your deck. Or if you wanted to, you can also upgrade and include the card Lost Vacuum as well. Lost Vacuum is one of the best item cards in the game and because you have four copies of Arvin, you're able to search it out and uh, use Lost Vacuum to get rid of your opponent's stadium or get rid of cards on their side of the field like Bravery Charm. So it's even easier for you to knock out your opponent's Pokemon. And the other tool card they included in this deck is Leafy Camo Poncho. And the stylish poncho right here will prevent your Regilecki VMAX from being a victim of boss's orders and getting attacked into for knockout. Now, before I give you guys some quick recommendations on cards you can add to this deck to really improve it, I want to remind you I will be doing an in-depth Maridon EX deck profile and tutorial on how to play it and walk you through a lot of the matchups on the channel. So if you want to join us Maridon Maniacs, I got you covered. Cards you're going to want to include in this deck to upgrade it is you're going to want to include two copies of Mareep, two copies of Flaffy, Raikou V is amazing in this deck too, along with Raichu V from Brilliant Stars, another one hit KO option as an attacker. Other great supporter cards in this deck include Iono, Judge, Peony is also really good. Peony is a supporter that allows you to grab two trainer cards from your deck, any two trainer cards, but you have to discard your entire hand. Combine that with the barrel, you get to draw five new cards. So Peony has some great synergy with this Bibero engine if you want to keep the Bibero engine inside. Other great attackers in this deck that you could include would be Tapu Koko EX, Zapdos EX. If you're a fan of Ampharos, there's also the Ampharos EX. And I also mentioned Flying Pikachu V and Flying Pikachu V Max earlier. Don't forget to answer the comment question of the day giveaway and hit that like button down below for a chance at this 60 card deck right here. And not just the 60 card deck, I'm also going to include one of my personal copies of Maridon EX, the full art, which I did play on stream at the Pittsburgh Regionals, which Speaking of, you should check out. So watch the Pittsburgh Pokemon regional vlog right here or the Toronto regional vlog or the uh, upgraded 
Maridon deck guide that I'm putting out pretty soon. Catch you guys in the next video.